Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Cars and Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mucklover, and we all love Tex Confederate States of America. Um, so yeah, as you can see by the uh, up there flag in the top left, we have changed um, countries, technically, because we wanted to become a different country so we get more cores. But unfortunately, as you can see on screen, uh, we might be Confederate, but we didn't get cores on everything. So, like, Northern Arkansas, we didn't get cores. We got cores on the rest of Arkansas, and all of Louisiana, and Southern Mississippi, but not Upper Mississippi, Southern Alabama, Florida Panhandle with Mobile, which is kind of weird that they're together, but whatever. Uh, Southern Georgia and bl the Black South and Northern Florida, but none of Virginia's been cored. Neither any of Kentucky. We have Southern Florida, so... Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what happened with this, but these uh, here are Confederate states. Well, they're not really core. But anyway, it's a 1943 Democratic primary. Time for the primaries is here. Now, the Democratic Party is about to nominate a new candidate for president. Who shall it be? W. Leo Daniel, H. L. Hunt, or Coke R. Stevenson? I've heard of a Stevenson before, and he's, his name is Coke. You gotta go with Coke. And then the 1943 Texas Independence Party primary. Time for the primaries here, and the tip is about to nominate a new candidate who shall be James Allred or Dan Moody. Well, we already didn't go with Allred before, so I don't see if there's anyone else we can try to go with. Oh, we're still improving our, po our poverty. Improving our popularity with the Democratic Party with good old John Nance Ghana. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, will you go through your Homer, Homer Brooks? Let's go with Dan Moody. And the 43 progress Broad Progressive Party, and basically LBJ still there. And the uh, Paracutin volcano erupts in Michoacan. We have received reports today of bad news from the small town of Paracutin. The nearby volcano of Paracutin has been erupting during the afternoon, and the small town's populace now stands threatened by the rains of ash. And our specialists confirm that the lava flow will cover the city at the current pace of emissions. The town has been ordered being evacuated immediately by President John S. Garner, and efforts to relocate them near Europan shall begin. This will take some time and effort, but it's a necessary step to ensure the safety of our citizens from a natural disaster. An unfortunate turn of events. Unfortunate. But that political pattern doesn't really mean too much. So yeah, um, as you can see, we're at war with the PSA too, just because I figured we can still form the United States of Western America and hopefully get some cores. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh, hello. This is not good. Can someone help out here, please? Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, casualties. I mean, they've been attacking like crazy, which is nice. But also, like, the Union of America, or the CSA. Well, they pieced out with the PSA. They had the C Rocky Mountain ceasefire, even though they neither... Well, I guess the PSA had Rocky Mountains, but the other side, the CSA didn't. And they got this territory. Western Montana and Western Wyoming. Don't ask me why. Uh, additionally, these guys are still not core, by the way, which is really good for us. And uh, this this flag looks like China. China I'll be honest. That looks exactly like China. And, uh, well, they're going with Earl Browder, creating the CIA, while Huey Long has found himself here in the PSA. We beat Huey Long once, and my god, we'll beat him again. I swear. Uh, oh yeah, don't let them do that, guys. Don't let them do that. Uh, actually, you guys can go right there, maybe. If you really feel like it, you might be able to win. That'd actually be really good to encircle some divisions here. Uh, we're not gonna win there. God dang it. Hold. Hold, hold, hold. And let's take a look over here. Uh, that's not looking good for the German Empire, I'll be honest. That is really not looking good. Nor for Austria. Why are they so weak, man? Mandate of Illyria, huh? So weak. Um, yeah. So we'll see what happens. We'll do the best we can. No guarantees, of course, but... Oh, well. Cool. Hope you guys are having a good day. we got quite a few comments to go through, such as... Try out Washington, or King Washington, in New England, and of course, in Kaiser Redux. Yeah, sometime I do. That sounds like a really fun route. But we'll get there eventually. Um, not sure when, but eventually. I do want to play New England again, because I already played as Mr. Happy Catman. Uh, Lovecraft, of course. And actually, we have upgrades. Audie Murphy. Mission Trust Scott. Yeah, nothing really interesting here. No, not really. Okay. And how about over here, actually? Uh, Walton Walker. Alright, nope. And other people want me to try other paths. Try as the Western Command Center. And, uh, make the feds lose, but basically just win the campaign as the Western Command Center and see what happens. So, we could try that eventually. That sounds like fun. A little crazy, but it sounds like fun. How did we lose that? What the heck? Go back in, boys. Go and keep them in there. And I've been doing a lot of focuses um, off screen as well, obviously. I don't honestly remember which ones we've done. But the National Guard? No, we did that one. The Texas Navy. The Texas Navy is divided over the future of her shipbuilding. Some favor the construction of a large and ambitious navy in order to match the prestige of other powers, while others propose a smaller, more efficient navy built for the purpose of controlling our local waters. Play the odds. Our navy must be the greatest there's ever been. 
Mighty ships will win battles in the Gulf and that, that a smaller navy could only run from. Update new technology. It does not help as much to have a larger navy if our ships do not keep pace with modern technology. Repair Houston shipyards. Houston's proud shipyards fall into disrepair. A drawn husk has become a public eye sworn as a disadvantage our navy. Repairing will greatly help our naval production and shipbuilding program. Any navy worth its salt needs more than just subs and destroyers to be truly respected. It's time to dig deep and get our dockyards producing some ships we can truly be proud of in the Nimitz revival plan or Nimitz naval plan. The forms have been completed within the Texas Navy. We can rest easy at night knowing that the shores of Texas are safe. Nimitz plan is a full effect and Texas will be a naval powerhouse, followed up with Texan shipyards. A plan has been put in place to build the Texan naval shipyards in Houston. This will be the largest shipyard of its kind in Texas and truly put us on the naval map and the Gulf of Texas. The Gulf of Mexico is Texas's natural terrain, not Mexico, not America, can challenge us for the, goal, for the control of that vital, vital sea. Absolutely. I'm actually training some ships down here too, so. Um, got some carrier holes, got a lot of destroyers. Let's do some of this too. Oh, actually, do we need any upgrades on these guys? That's a big fat yes or nos. Yes, please. You're almost done. And we'll do that ooh, twice. There you go. We're going to need a little bit more chromium, but that's okay. I'm going to buy some, maybe? Yeah, Mandy Delivery. Sure, why not? Upper guys over there. And are we still training? No, we're not. Oh, we're done training now. There you go. Good luck. Oh, I mean, we need to repair too, so. Um, no guys, we're not coming into the war. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what we've been doing the entire time. Hey, we got Fresno, nice. That's gonna just be very slow pushing through here. We got the M4 Houston. We need to get the M6 Houston. We got a lot of Houstons here, huh? Alright, looking very good. Get in there, guys. Get in there. Better radar will be very nice as well. Let's grab some nuclear research, because we love a nuclear Texas. Um, we actually might be able to win right here, too. Perhaps. That'd be very good. There's only one division. They're looking very weak, which looks awesome, 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 yeah. After this, then we'll take out the CSA and hopefully have a good time. I mean, we really need to get and core some more territory. I mean, I'm disappointed that the Confederate States, they don't get cores on, a, for some reason, a select few provinces. So, yeah, it's... I'm not sure what to say about that. Just it's just disappointing. I don't know, maybe it's a bug. I think it's a bug. So because, realistically, we should have all this core. At least this part. You know, this part of Virginia, but... Unfortunate... <clears throat> All right. Uh, what's next? What's next? Where's next? Ah, oh, here, yes, please. Nice. Cool. Tanks. Can we beat up tanks? All right then. Not bad. Okay. They do have some mechanism up there too. <clears throat> I'll give me that San Fran booty. Well, San Fran booty. Hmm. There you go. Go here. Nice. They're looking kind of weak. Keep going. Hmm. Now, how about here? Oh, they're actually taking a look. Oh, so look at that. Um, you're moving anyway. This is fine. All right. Help them out here. Not bad. Not bad. Do we dare risk it? That's not bad. That's probably 20 combo with ish. Oh, we got the. Oh, that's nice. We got some radar too. Oh, what's air superiority like here? Oh, not very good, man. Not very good. Uh, we should have an air superiority over here. Oh, destroyed nice. Hmm. Three divisions. That tank division is just looking so bad. It's over a river, into mountains. But that tank, yeah, it's looking so god awful. Oh, it's a light tank. Well, it says light tank, but it looks like medium tanks. Wow, they're almost dead. Suck on that attrition, you son of a gun. Um, you guys can have a too. That's fine. Another comment was, someone asked me to name one of the type of divisions we have to the River Kings. And, there you go, River Kings. What, what, what we call, consider the Texas Rangers, so. Because someone requested it, I figured, okay, sounds good enough to me. Come on, guys. We might have air superiority, but we're better overall. Nice. Now we get over here and cut them off. Another guy's get oh, Gulf of Texas, nice, look good. Got some logistics. Let's go repair some old American bases. Several old and disused American air bases have fallen in our hands. They are currently unusable with some repairs that could become unusable again and powerful tools for our nation. Hmm, a little bit ahead of time for us. Let's grab that, maybe. Hmm. It does help out quite a bit, so. And we get more cores anyways later on, right? So, I wouldn't mind attacking here. That might not be bad. I kind of doubt we could win, but then again, I've been wrong before. 
Emergency National Guard. So those divisions aren't very good. Oh, there goes Berlin. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, we're supposed to be out. Are we out of Artie? Ooh, that is not good. Hmm. Well, we already have 30 things on there, so it should be okay, right? Oh, they're taking us. Look at that. Nice. Keep going, guys. You're doing great. Um, okay, we got it. Okay, that's... Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. Yeah, why not? Hello. Not today, sir. Not today. Come on. Go in. Come on. Anywhere else along here? I'm, I'm going to risk it. They, they seem to be kind of weak right now, which is fine with me. But, okay, there you go. Yeah, why not? Hey! Three divisions in circle. That's pretty good. Goodbye, sirs. Um, yeah, the Emergency National Guard. Not very good. Also, since after the war, like, like as you saw from the CSA as well, they lost a lot of divisions. Like, they just lost them. Like, they demobilized, basically, or something, so. Alright, I mean, if they're completely encircled, I'm okay with that. Okay, yeah, this is this is getting a little, a little too easy. Okay, something's going on here. This is a little too easy. Um, but you know what? We'll take it. I'll take it. I'll gladly take it. I would like to do another general attack, but we don't have any already already, so. Um, and I, I also put my tanks here earlier, but there's so many mountains in California and Nevada, so I'm like, eh, not a good idea. Take them out. Let's do this in circle, kill them off, and try to general attack. Maybe we can win then. Oh, hello. Four divisions. Oh, yes, please, baby. Let's see. Someone also recommends we try Hungary and Kazoo Redux playing National Populist or, oh, good, New Zealand, or Totalist. So, hey, we'll try eventually, maybe. I did, I did, I was thinking about playing as Hungary sometime, so, we'll see. Get our guys on the line. I think we're at this point where they don't have enough divisions. We've killed off a lot of guys. That's really nice. The Union of America. Women's Liberation. New England. Hey! We talked about you earlier. Cool. Mr. Handsome Edward VIII. Please don't capitulate yet. Germany or lag it super hard. Oh, Kaiser Wilhelm. I gotta play as Germany Kaiser Redux. When is the last time I play actual normal Germany? It's really been a while. Go ahead, guys. See what you can do. Can you actually win? Please tell me you can win. Please. Uh, not right here, probably. Improve air base construction methods? If we were to have a fleet of aircraft able to oh, uh, cover our vast homeland, we must provide an adequate number of airfields. Oh, nice. Playing for our land is rather flat, to say the least. And as the eruption of the Panukatin continues, another town town found itself in the path of destruction. A small town of Santa Anna Zerosto, which was founded during colonial times, is now on the way to the lava missions. The town has been ordered to evacuate, and they shall join the Panukatin population in the recollection. Relocation efforts near Uruapan. We can only hope they recover. Yeah, it's unfortunate for them. Unfortunate. More carriers, please. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Did we get another carrier? Oh, baby boy. Yes, please. Texas got some teeth in terms of its navy. All right, so we need to get all the way to Seattle next. 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 Oh, here we go. Um, let's. I want to kill all of them first, and then uh, get become Western America. They don't even have divisions up here, so. Oh, yeah, you're doing too well. Come on, keep going, guys, keep going. Do we have anything here? Um, infiltrate. Do we have any ciphers? I should have used that before. No, we. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. Uh, let's see. Come on, to Washington. Thank you very much. Yeah, they're not doing very well. What's going on? What What happened with them? Guys, PSA, why are you so weak? Did, hold on, did they demobilize? Well, they're out of manpower. No, they're on service by requirement, though. Uh, yeah, they have a few, they don't have that many divisions left, so, I don't know, but you know what, I'm gonna gladly take it, gladly, 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 oh god, local recruitment stuff, nope, don't even show me that, don't even show me that either, alright, so be it, so be it, oh my goodness, how much more, keep going guys, it's taking forever, but keep going, <clears throat> your goal is Seattle, or Olympia, no the upgrades yet, that's fine. Um, yeah, just... Oh, there goes Mau Mau. I, oh, we overran a division. I really, really, really do not want to have to fight using tanks over here. That's just a recipe for disaster. Infantry is okay. But tanks, no, no, no. Hey, artillery's looking a lot better, though. Light tanks could be better. Fighters could be better. But what else is new, you know? Keep going, keep going. 
And we'll be the next focus too. New bases. New air base has been constructed in Texas, com completing them or complementing the old U.S. bases and helping with the defense of our nation. Del Marva. It's very in Texas. Del Marva is in Texas. Keep going, guys. They're mechanized. Don't seem to be doing that great. Are they? I don't know. Just Jesus Christ. You think mechanized would be harder to kill? I mean, we don't have even. We don't even have air superiority up here. Down here we do. Oh, the collapse. Oh crap. The Kai's rock is about to fall. Well, it's going to lag super hard now, so. Um, you know what? I'll see you when we're about to go to war with the... Oh, never mind. That was actually probably... Sorry for the loud ping. Um, oh, oh, it's lagging super hard. You know what? I'll see you uh, we'll in just a little bit once this is all done and taken care of. Well, everyone, now we have no more Confederates, but now we're Western America, which... Doesn't give us all of Western America. Um, we court Nevada, which is awesome. All of Utah. We court half of or a third of Nevada. Maybe three-fifths of Nevada. Almost all of California, but not L.A. A and neither Washington or Oregon or Idaho. Uh, so, you know, but you know what? We can form the Confederate States again. <gasps> uh... uh I wonder if I do it again, we'll get some more cores. I'm really wondering if that'll happen. Oh, we need way more lightings. Holy crap. Uh, artillery's looking pretty good. We can lower that by that much, maybe. We're definitely going to need more rubber. Let's go up to 5. Let's go up to 30 for these guys. Because we really need more stuff right now. Uh, go and buy some more of uh, that stuff. It's fine. We have a small little navy, too. I mean, it's only 39 ships, but, you know. Two carriers and 37 destroyers, which is okay. It's not great. I'm a little worried about the Red Navy, but hey, it's time to go to war with the Union of America. The False America, of course. They have quite a few divisions. We probably don't have as much, but we actually have more manpower than them. But before we do that, let's get good luck. So this area here is not cored, which is just... I'm not sure what to say about it, but... We work, we started this campaign off as Texas. Then we became Confederate States of America. Then we became the Western America. And now we're back to the Confederate States of America. Please tell me cores more stuff. Please, please, please. Oh, and happy November or December 1st. Also, here's Europe, by the way. Uh, Germany split into 1, 2, 3 ish. Um, it's disgusting. Uh, Italy won. The Spanish Civil War is still going on. And uh, yeah, the Polish Republic is here. And also, apparently, like, there's a little event. It's kind of a super event, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, the Social Democracy R Russian Republic won because the Far Eastern Republic's gone. I think the. I don't know who declared war on who. Japanese war on the Kingdom of Canada, but the Japanese and Russians are fighting each other. China's looking not too bad. I mean, some people want me. There's another comment saying that people want me to play as Mongol Incarnate, play as uh, Western Command Center, like I said earlier, play as MacArthur, and I got to play as New England sometime, so we'll get there. Um, and actually, I did get a super fan that's saying that the CS8 actually did win the American Civil War, but and, and why is Bulgaria thick? Wow, that is a nice. Why did you get this? Um, anyways, uh, yeah. What? What? How did you... Why? Franz Böhm, the mandate of Valyria, looks very Austrian right now. But, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say, but yeah. Stuff is happening. Why do you have Flanders, but not... <clears throat> okay, well, <clears throat> whatever. And, uh, we got tons of people. We didn't get any Texas yet. Texan Kaiserreich, just because the government in exile is still down there. So we might not be able to get them this run, but that's okay. It's time for us to go to war. I want these guys to move through here as fast as possible. Hopefully we'll do okay. And we're not going to use the box description. <clears throat> my apologies for clearing my throat. Oh my goodness. Can we actually win here? That'd be kind of nice if we could. Uh, maybe? We don't have a lot of... Oh, we can pierce him. Jack Shulman looks very disturbed. Not sure how to put it, so... They have a lot of mechanized. They're not very thick mechanized units, but that's a lot of mechanized. Um, I guess we'll go to Duluth. Why not? Oh, hello. Ah, I see where they went. Interesting. That's not very good. Actually, do we core anything here? I... Uh, when you become the Confederate twice in a single episode, or I guess, you know, in campaign, you still don't get any more cores. What's in the tanks down here? I'm not too worried about it. Oh. So you're telling us our carrier bombers are doing nothing to these guys. Oh, they might be doing a little bit, but we're going to probably lose somebody here, too. Yeah, at least we sunk somebody. That's kind of nice, right? Dreadnoughts are just massive entities, man. Just, just massive. 
Uh, I, I can't. Oh, King Edward advocates the throne. Goodbye, King Edward. Sayonara. Pick out the Marines, please. Thank you. I'd love to try general attack, but can you guys hurry up? Seriously. You're literally not even going, son. Walton. Dude. Bro. Can we try general attack? Would that work? Uh, maybe a little bit yes and no. That's really not good, but they did throw their divisions down here, so. P90s are nice. We'll get some better heavy tanks. Uh, more air doctrines coming along. It is 1943. It's almost 44. I forgot about 43 stuff. Get some bigger, thicker, heavy, stronger tanks. We skipped ta heavy tank 2s. Now heavy tank 1s are obviously better. Overall, not too bad. Could be better. Mm, nice. Good. Oh. All right. And... Bulgar... What? Also, I've been doing some of this stuff. Implementing, implementing the Acre Plan. <clears throat> Ira C. Acre has come up with a plan to defend the skies over Texas. The LeMay plan is something that must be implemented as soon as it's finished. The Acre plan. We finished planning the LeMay, the, the, the LeMay plan. All facets of it have been worked out and the plan is ready to be implemented. Bomber development. While our foes will surely be content with the suffering fatal blows from our horsemen, the least we can do for them is to drop bombs under their heads as well. And fire development. If we're going to be sucked into the second American Civil War, we must ensure that we're able to dominate the skies as surely our ground force will humiliate them beneath it. Air formations. Let's say that practice makes perfect. We shall test the Syrian and instill a discipline into our pilots and that rivals are that of our cavalrymen ancestors. <clears throat> that is... Wow. Interesting. Go, boys, go. What's the cow? She's like 16,000. Well, that's a lot dead. Jesus Christ. That's, that's actually pretty good. Not gonna lie, that's pretty good. Hey, nice. Get some more of those guys. Go, 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 boys. Go, go, go. This is really not good, but they don't have that many strong divisions over there, so. Um. Oh, wait. Do we lose some stuff here? Oh, we lost two stores. Yeah, that's so dumb. Carriers are very weak compared to dreadnoughts. Very, very weak. I'm in the dreadnoughts, but. I'm in the carriers, but still. Morocco joined the Cairo Pact. Alright, not bad. Um, I hate these little lakes. Sometimes it's just not worth having just having a frontline system around it. It kind of sucks. Go, boys, go. Oh, well, getting kind of there. Push them out as much as you possibly can. Eh, we're doing okay in some areas. Some areas, not so much, but some areas, definitely so. Oh, yes. Robert, nothing there. Okay. Hold for now, hold for now. We've lost a lot of guys. 6,000 versus 160,000, not too bad. We'll get rid of these guys very soon, very, very soon. Our guys are almost there. And then we'll send these tanks to Minnesota and Wisconsin to really kill these guys off. How much manpower do they have, actually? Oh, uh, they have a little bit. They have a couple divisions, stockpile. They really don't have that much stuff. They really don't. Oh, look at that, nice. When you guys get down there, just go in. Kill them all off. Let God sort them out. Godless Reds. Oh, we're, oh, we're to Philadelphia. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's actually really good for the port then. Well, I'm glad we didn't lose any carriers. We're only two, but still. Let God sort them out. Actually, we'll probably go straight through Pennsylvania, maybe, if we can. Avoid some of these hills and mountains. Or go through New Jersey. Flying formation's very good. Let's grab some of this, too. Air superiority is looking not bad. Not too shabby. Can we get any more cast? No. Can we get more fighters? Yes. Maybe, please. Thank you. Guys, go here, go here, go in. You're going to circle them. It's only a militia division, so you'll be easily be able to take them out. I know it's mountains, and it sucks, but still. What are we missing here? A little bit more chromium? That's fine. Actually, we're not getting all the chromium that we get from them. There you go. Well, <clears throat> time to plan out another attack, perhaps. Good. Ah, they should do that pretty easily. Air formations, and then followed up with found the Air Academy. Several famous pilots have from Texas, but we could always use more. Absolutely. Go in, boys. Oh, Barret Coutin finally stopped erupting. 
the power of Kutin volcanoes finally stopped emitting lava. And while the volcano may still be a threat for nearby populations for the years to come, we have avoided a major disaster by evacuating our civilian population, and while ash still clouds, or ash clouds still may affect our nearby farmlands and towns, the towns that were buried shall be constituted as memorials for the old inhabitants, and will be considered an integral part of their administration, despite the relocation to uh, so they may do with their towns of all as they please. Oh. That's not good. And probably some of this stuff. That's fine. Grab some of the Are we actually out of guns? Yeah, we're really out of guns. How are we out of guns? Carrier Primacy. Get some more of that stuff. That'll be very, 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 very helpful. Southern Illinois. Good. Alright. Um, we don't have a lot of divisions, to be honest with you. I mean, we're trying to make a lot of divisions here anyways. So, maybe we can save ourselves on guns just a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. You too, and not you. Go there. Help out if you can. There you go. <coughs> Walton Walker. He's becoming an organizer, which is nice. Uh, Ira C. Eaker? Aker? Not sure how to pronounce that. Swim up. Swim up through here. Get Norfolk. Because if you get Norfolk, we pretty much crush them. Any other ships yet? Yes. Destroyers are super cheap to make. So if you lose a few, it doesn't really matter. It's alright. They're not really attacking us, which is fine. Um, over here, maybe. I'd like to get a Milwaukee, cut him off through here, maybe a little bit. We'll see what happens. Uh, we're, oh, we're winning there, that's fine. St. Louis is up next, too. St. Louis is on the chopping block. Nice. Come on, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Don't let it up. Prussia's gone. Goodbye, Prussia. Oh, come on, man. Go, 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 go. We got the ports. All except for this one. Dominion of Delhi is gone. That is fine. We're not going to let up here, too. But, so. This should all be core, core territory. So it doesn't make any sense why they're able to do this. How many ships got hit? Um... There you go. If we need to. We're going to get Rally. Very, very good. Anywhere else? Southern, very southern Illinois. Yeah, so over here is fine. Oh, Claire will be ours. Found the Air Academy. Nice. Um, go, just go there. Screw it. Uh, after this one, we're going to do Air Supremacy Fighters or Long Range Fighter Focus. Uh, let's do the other one. Here's a primary fighter focus. It's vital that we focus on fighter craft on being able to crush enemy forces in the air, even if it comes at the expense of range. Quality over... Well... Quality. Huh. We're all in. We really need that time. I'm not sure why we're going for those mechanisms, but whatever. Um... Hmm... Intelligence wise, with Chicago, we'll go to Ohio, and yeah, there we go. Did you lose? You must have lost. That sucks. Uh, go in there. Go in there next. Cool. Not bad, not great. We got Southern Illinois, and we're going to push up to here too. Uh, since their divisions are so small, you should be able to do this, right? There you go. Help them out. Help them out. More divisions sound great to us, especially tanks. So, any other divisions? Nope. Go in there. 
And we, they've, they lost a quarter million. We've lost a hundred thousand. Too much, man. Too much. Uh, let's see. They still have a lot of stuff. We still don't have any guns, which I don't understand why. Like, this is ridiculous. We need these cores. Go in. Just go in. Kill them off. Force the attack. If you die, then so be it. It just doesn't make any sense. We got the separate. We're going in. We're going all in. <clears throat> we need. We sh honestly should have cores on all of this and all of this if it would become the Confederate States, man. I mean, it, it makes some sense that we don't because, you know, we start off as Texas, but still. But still. Uh, so. Oh, we're pushing up through Illinois very nicely, actually. Wisconsin's coming apart. These guys are coming apart. Hopefully, get this god dang province. I swear to God, man. Get it, get it, kill them off. We don't have time to deal with this stuff anymore. Come on, good. Get in there. There you go, nice. Come up here. We're going to need New York City now. I want to make sure we get that before we capitulate the rest of them. We will probably mobilize a little bit more as well. Uh, gun wise, we need a lot of heavy tanks too. There you go. It's good enough. Uh, we might have them. We might. Maybe. I mean, we have no, you know, go into um, guns, which sucks, but whatever. Tactical bomber focus. Though they don't need any of our help, our ground forces might appreciate the support of a bomber fleet capable of shredding our opponent's land armies. Sounds pretty great to us. Guys, go here. Go here. You ding-dongs. This is obviously better to get than this. I make it quick. Come on. Come on. Good. We got all of Wisconsin under us, pretty much. Yep, we do. That's good. Hey, we cut off New Jersey. Nice. Yeah, playing in Texas is not easy. Why are you taking so long to repair, man? Oh, the carrier sucks, man. Oh, look, an instrument. Not sure what that was, but not bad. Lost 180,000 versus almost half a million. Hey, man, the Reds were asking for it, so. Good, we got that one done. That's good. See, encirclements are the way forward. Good. Get New York City, too, if you can, eventually. Cut these guys off. Nice. Half of Indiana is ours. We got Indianapolis, which is very, very good. Care task forces, good, just in case. Get that some of that too. Chicago is a frontline city, which we can't take just yet, but we are approaching Michigan. Or, or I guess technically we're already in Michigan. We're going to get New York City already, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. The fall of New York City. New York City is ours. Great. All you infantry just hold. You just keep going. Just go this way. All right, so I think we've got them on the run at this point, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Anything else? Nope. How many guns are we at? Minus 12,000. That could be actually a lot worse. We're slowly getting there. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Anyone else have upgrades yet? Nope. Anyone have upgrades over here? Nope. Where's your stockpile like? Destroy Jim Crow. They're almost out of manpower. Stockpile wise, they are out of uh, maybe some stuff. Maybe not too much, but some stuff. They're out of a lot of rifles, and we have some spare rifles spare here so good that should re up oh, 5,000 more we got Chicago look at that we got Chicago guys go right here and do that cut them off through there keep them in place let them attack here we've already going up there if we can get it here too that'd be great come on good keep them in place there we go. Look at those guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven divisions cut off. Cleveland's a capital. They ain't going to last very much longer. Oh, they're literally about to die, so. And we got through the entire focus tree. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, come on. Let's go. Three quarters of a million have died. All we need is Cleveland or Detroit. 96% of the way there. A quarter million. I guess you can say Confederates now have died. We can form them again if we wanted to, but that, that's definitely got to be bugged. Oh, we're going to get Cleveland. Nice. So we've lost 260 versus basically 800,000. Oh, we took Cleveland. There you go. Nice. And now America's truly reunited. Minus, you know, uh, this Dominion of Alaska and 
Well, I guess we do have Hawaii. Spicy Sporker, right? Change our name. Oh, wait, do we have more things? Uh. Oh. Entente Alliance. The Entente is a natural successor to the old order, and keeping with them will ensure that democratic Texan vows to triumph around the globe. I guess we can join the Entente. I don't. I don't think we'll be able to get New England, would we? That'd be kind of cool, I'll be honest. That'd be kind of really cool. I can form a border with them. Let's see what happens. I mean, I'd, I'd, we were in part of the Reichsback War since Germany fell apart. Uh, they, they're no, they're, actually, they'll probably join the Entente, so. So it's been a very bloody campaign, but Texas is possible to reunite all of America, even though you get nothing special about it, which makes sense. Election of 44, the Texas Democrat moderates. Election season is once again in Texas. Who will we elect? The Texan Independence Party? Um, and the Broad Progressives. Well, we're currently the Democratic Party, and... I mean, it just makes sense to keep going this way. I like the t tip, but... Oh, Moody! Moody! Wait, did I go to tip? I went social lip. I did go tip. Oh, well, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Um, actually, actually, could you... Well, one of the following must be true. Current ruling party social liberals and social democrats. And then Texas for the people, which doesn't look bad, but doesn't really give you anything too strong. Um, well, that's interesting. Huh. I, I wanted to kiss it, John Nance Garner, but oh well, it is what it is. Let's see what happens in two weeks. We'll, we'll figure out what we have here. Ooh, and it, are you guys... Oh, look at that. No more carriers still. It's fine. Uh, wait. Oh, wait. So, okay. So, okay. They are part of the Entente. So the Entente is killing off the Third International, which is nice. And we have the Brotherhood of Eurasia, so... It's been a really... It's been a weird campaign, but not too bad. If I don't get involved in this, I'll be happy. Like... Hello? What are you... Was Zhao? Okay. But yeah, if I were to join the Entente and help fight, I'd be too pissed off. And a lot of this doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, we're, we were known as Western America. Without Reno as a core. Or LA. We were known as Confederate States of America without having... This swoop down here accord. And not even having Vir oh, Virginia or Kentucky... Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. But let's see if we can join the Entente. Wait. We changed flags. Why did we change flags? Look at that. Oh, is it because we're social liberals? Social liberal Confederate States of America. This is so weird, man. Unfortunately, we didn't get the Texas Kaiserreich, but... Hey, that's for another campaign, my friends. Another campaign for that. Do we just join them, or... Well, Canada? Albert the first. Oh wait, do we have another focus? Oh yeah, we have these focuses too. So, um, the policies of Albert and Johnson have angered many of Texas's more right-wing factions, who say that they're bringing cynicalism to Texas. These fears must be put to rest. Cynicalism will never infect the soil of Texas, and our democracy will remain unsoiled as long as this Lone Star flag rises and flies above our lands. I guess since we're here anyways, we might as well do Texas for the people. The Entente accepts. The Canadians have accepted our offer and are now members of the Entente. While America has fallen apart, Texas stands strong. Our Republic is reinvigorated with a new spirit that declared that Texas will never be subservient again. Texas will be free forevermore with, with, with every Texan living under a state that will serve its people well. Uh, and there's the Entente training program. So, yeah, I think that would be pretty good. That's where we join the Rex Pack beginning. If you want to do that, please go ahead. Uh, we'll do that too. Um, I guess that's going to be the campaign. I have no interest in joining the war here, so... Uh, it is what it is, so hey, if you enjoyed it, please do consider leaving a like and let me know in the comments below if you really enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, if you have already. Check out my Discord link in the description below and return to England or, uh, return. Wait, what lands do they claim? Hold on, before we leave. They claim everything here, don't they? Go suck yourself, guys. And if, if anything, we should get New England, but... Hey, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.